way to work. Short work week this week. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. To at least not the free range of motion that the left knee had. It wasn't the same. It'll wake up in a little bit and go away. But I'm gonna get to work and uh, start the rest of this day. I hope these days go quick. There's really no issues. Everybody's cutting me off because I can't make the moves I want to make. excited because the sun finally came out and now you can see behind me that the sun is not out and like I was excited because it was like 15 20 minutes before I left work and I'm like nice I'll get a nice sunset with the drone well now I get out of work go to leave and well you saw what I just saw sun's gone. It's gone. I, it just happened to disappear. Whoa. Excuse me. Yeah, the sun has evaded us. So now I'm like, eh, do I even fly the drone? And you know, like it was blue skies. It was beautiful. Now all of a sudden, because I get off of work, this guy wants to disappear. Meanwhile, like, I stopped for a moment and I was watching Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf, you crack me up. Um, I love when you do like your Omegle videos and the people figure out who you are and you're like, nah, that's not me. Ray Ray, that you? Nah, nah, that ain't me. And then, your every single Sunday gets stuck in my head. So you know it's Sunday, you know what that means, fan questions, because it's every single Sunday, every single Sunday, every single, every single, every single Sunday, it gets stuck in my head. 
trying to get out of work. So that's all. Workday was okay. Um, I didn't realize, but the day that I fly home from the Chicago Marathon, my boss is off and he came to me today. He's like, oh, you want to come in early on Tuesday? I'm like, I'm not even going to be in the state. Like, I didn't realize any of this. I didn't know that he was off that day. This, like, just hit me now. And, like, I feel bad because I opted to come back Tuesday because it was dramatically cheaper than coming back Monday. And my girl's like, oh, babe, you know. And even I was like, babe, you want me to stay that extra day? She's like, yeah. And I'm like, yeah. And so we were both like, yeah. And then now we're like, err. And she just started her new job, so I feel bad on that. But the ticket's already booked. It is what it is. I come back Tuesday. And now, like, I kind of feel bad about work. But I'm going to try to get here as soon as I can. And... I don't know. I don't know how late I'm going to be. I forget when my flight lands. My flight lands at like 9 in the morning or something like that. So I'm going to have to beat feet from the airport back down to here and just jump right into work. And yeah. I mean, it beats flying home Monday. Like you run the marathon, boom, got to get right back on a plane first thing in the morning. That would have sucked. I've done it before. Well, not necessarily that I've done it before because last year my flight was towards the end of the day. So, like, I was able to kick around and just relax. I sat down with a coffee in the heart of Chicago and just, you know, put my feet up and chilled. I wasn't, um... Then why did you have your blinker on? You know, I really, I wasn't that sore the day after. I think I even, like, walked to the zoo. Like, I had a whole half a day when, uh, last year. You know, so I left my hotel. I, um, uh, I checked out. I left my bags there. Got a little ticket. And, you know, went to the zoo, walked around, did whatever, got some pictures. And then I came back out my stuff around, like, I don't know, 4 or 5 p.m. And walked my ass to the train and caught the train to O'Hare. This time, I don't leave till the following morning. So, and, like, I feel bad because I think my girl's got to take off of work. But she's putting it to me like, babe, it's only seasonal work. Who cares? And I don't know. I love spending time with that girl. She, and she's like my whole world. You know, and like I've been through other relationships and, you know, I've been close with people, but always in the back of your mind, there's like that, eh, like that little hump that you have to get over. And when I met her and fell in love with her, it was like instantly, boom, right over that little hump. And I've never been with someone where... I honestly have like no doubts in the back of my mind that it's a hundred percent like the amount of love I have for her is the amount of love that she has for me even though she always tells me she loves me more the love is equal and it just blows my mind to be able to sit here and be like you know I finally after all the crap that I've went through from previous relationships and like don't get me wrong I learned from each one I carried a different demeanor into each relationship because you learn um I've never been happier with someone and like I love this girl And I know what you're saying. Oh, you guys don't even live together yet. Just wait. Things are going to change. Shut up. Just just stop. Because we're good. 
and all that's left for us is to live together and that's you know that's our goal we're working towards it somehow some way I don't know I gotta shave not cutting my hair but I do need to shave and like it's almost getting long enough for the man bun or like two buns it's crazy this is the longest I've ever grown my hair out and it's because of her anyway I'm heading to visit fam I'm gonna be here briefly and then uh, I gotta go see one of my buddies and then I gotta go see one of my other buddies link up for the night and just chill out now that like I'm moving forward the sky opened up a little not much so maybe I can get a brief drone flight in real quick I guess but I mean it just ultimately it sucks because it gets dark so fast now and like if you fly on lunch that lighting I don't know it's not as good so it sucks I know I didn't give you guys drone footage yesterday but listen my training was more important I wanted to go for that run that run felt awesome it's the best I felt running in a long time Yeah, it was a great feeling. And like, I don't know, I know this is going to be hard to explain. Yeah, just pull right out in front of all the cars, you big dummy. Um, but it was like mile five, mile six. Oh, and mind you, like, let's sidestep for a minute. The area where I'm at, there was reports of these clowns. I know that they're popping up all over. We don't know what's hoaxes and what's really real. The really real. Um, but anyway, mind you, I was kind of out in the areas where they were yesterday. And I didn't see anything. Well, these reports just came in today. Now, mind you, like, let's get back to what we were talking about. It was probably mile four, mile five, somewhere in there. Maybe even closer to mile six my body was like my body lies over um my body was like what are you doing what is this and like i don't know we all have good days and bad days the last run that i went on by mile five my body shut down like my upper body was fine i wasn't out of breath i wasn't tired just my legs were just shot so it kind of scared me and then yesterday um you know, like I said, I get to like mile five, mile six, somewhere in there. And my body is just like, what is this? What are you doing? And I take this deep breath, and like almost like a sigh. Like I just let the sigh out. And it was weird because it was like I sidestepped from myself. And when I exhaled, it was like everything escaped like all the pain that I felt any indifference that my body was you know mentally telling me like no you should not be doing this like why are you running right now what is this and with that exhale when all of that left it was like my body just I don't know it was almost like my soul speaking to me like feeling like yes we remember this is what you do this is what you love and it was just one of those moments and they don't come that often where your body's like we love this this feels great and like it kind of woke me up out of the slump and made me remember that I love to run and it was the best feeling you know and then from there like all right I ran a little while longer, maybe like another mile or so. By then I was at like six or seven. And I decided to hook a left on 2-1 and Lewis, some brothers shooting dice. So I'm like, come on, let's do this. Um, no, so I hooked this left because I, I see the street name Stillhouse. I'm like, that sounds so familiar. I know where this goes. And in my mind, I'm like, yes, this is gonna put me out on this one street and like in my mind I'm thinking exactly where it's gonna put me out and 
like I didn't even really want to go out that way. I'm like, what if you get lost? And then, you know, I had that moment of clarity and my body's like, just go, who cares? Um, you're all right. So I go and, you know, I hook that left and I'm going for like a mile, mile and a half. I'm like, all right, why isn't the road ending? And you start to like, think like, all right, these side streets are usually about a mile in between, you know, a major road. So I'm going, I'm like, I'm not finding it. I'm not finding it. Oh, that street name looks familiar. Should I turn there? No, keep going straight. And then like, I start worrying that I'm getting further out into this town. Then I start to see a cemetery. And at the same time, I was looking for a cemetery, but as the way that I came up on this cemetery, it didn't look like the one that I was waiting for or expecting to see. And then like, I see a landmark in the cemetery. I'm like, oh, that steeple. Oh, wait, that gazebo. I'm like, yes, I know exactly where I am. And I'm like, in that moment, like I was elated to put it lightly. You know, my body was like, yes, we know where we are. It was like complete morale change. And I end up hooking another left to start to double back. And like, as excited as I am, I start calking of how, you know, what's the distance back to where I started back at my grams. And I'm, I kind of get upset because I'm like, damn, I'm not gonna hit the 13 that I want, which I didn't, I ended up hitting the 10, you know, but I didn't even think that I was gonna get to the 10 before I got to my destination, which I hit it well before. I wouldn't have hit 11, but I definitely hit my 10. But the point is, like, I felt awesome even when I hit the 10 miles, my body was not tired. I hadn't hit a hot spot on my feet. Everything was good. And I don't know, I guess like I'm looking forward to Chicago and I'm hoping to only suffer like maybe the final 10K, maybe a little more. Like if I can make it to mile 16 or 18 before I really start to suffer, I'm good. You know, especially if it's 18, what's that? That's another 8 miles, 8.2. So, ultimately, the goal would be make it to 20 before you suffer. Anyway, just got to my grams now. I don't think I'm going to fly the drone. Um, I'll get you guys drone footage tomorrow. It just does not look friendly right now. And I have running around I got to do. So... I'm in the vlog now, about to leave my grams and go visit some friends and hang out for the night. Um, no drone footage today. You know, I told you guys that earlier because it's just the way the weather was and the fact that it went looked right and try to get some tomorrow, maybe on my lunch. And that's really it. I hope you guys had a great day and I'll catch you in the morning. Vlog over. Bye.